And of course, we have such an amazing Latino population around here. It's mm -hmm. always a good reminder. Our weather call does have a Hispanic option as well. Uh, yeah, so when you go to sign up, there will be an option for English or Spanish. And once you do that, those calls will come to you with life-saving information at times during severe weather. Yeah, and this is the time to prepare for severe weather because we had easy breezy conditions over the next several days. And it's always nice when we can have relief from any type of severe activity. Yeah, so quiet weather for us out there right now. But hey, a reminder to help us spread sunshine every day with our good morning sunshine videos. We see uh, the one this morning from a school uh, out of, I think, Lafayette, Macon County. You can do the same. Grab friends, grab co-workers, grab your classroom. Tell us who you are, where you are from, Ended with the phrase, good morning, sunshine. Send that on in to my five at newschannel5.com. Host of pictures coming in from last night's harvest moon, full moon, super moon. Some of you even saw the lunar eclipse that happened uh, for about an hour last night. Uh, this is out of the Ashland City area from a Denson Carter over in Cheatham County. So we love it when you share pictures, my five at newschannel5.com. Heading to Franklin right now, you're at the hour 67 from our camera there at the NBC Suites Hotel. So for today, another warm afternoon. Temperatures right at or just above the norm of uh, 86. The norm is 84. We'll make it to about 86. Highs around 90 for the rest of the work weekend to the weekend. End of the weekend, autumn. It won't feel like it, but autumn starting officially at 743 Central Daylight Time. Your current temps now, we're 69 Nashville International from the Upper Cumberland Regional Airport, Cookville, Sparta, 66. Uh, we've got 66 back over towards Springfield, Tullahoma, 64, and down in Franklin County, Winchester, 63. These temperatures are all coming from regional airports within our area. So here's a look at what's happening right now. 86 out of Paris for today, Lawrenceburg 85, Smyrna 86, 81 out of the Livingston area. Fairs continue for Hardin County, Lincoln County, and Fayetteville at 5 o'clock, mid 80s by the 9 o'clock hour. Temperatures in the low 70s. Now, next couple of days, temperatures trending up. We're at 89 tomorrow. Right around 92 Friday, Saturday, 90 on Sunday. Again, average for this time of the year, Nikki D. 84 degrees. Yeah, we're not just slightly above average. We really are going beyond as well. Sky 5 up and live overlooking creation this morning and sunrise will be here shortly, but it's kind of hard to see. If you look close enough, you can see a little bit of that joyous start to the day trying to ease up, but we do have some clouds to coincide, so it will be nice and colorful in some spots. Those clouds that we do have like yesterday, majority of those east of I-65, they're gonna continue to be with us for the next few hours. But you will notice some clearing taking place from our south moving northward as we do go throughout the rest of our afternoon hours. With that, of course, comes rain chances declining. Right now, we only have a 10% chance and it's looking like yesterday, like what we did see over in Acrossville, one one hundredth of an inch. If you get a raindrop or two, rejoice because so many of us do need it. And we're very slim in the way of any rainfall amounts as we go throughout the rest of our week and continuing into the weekend, which is great for outdoor plans. Winds will continue to be pretty light as we go throughout tomorrow, continuing into Friday, coming in out of our north around five to 10 miles per hour. But rain is so needed. Our next best chance isn't looking to be until Tuesday afternoon of next week. And you can tell by this model run, majority of it is looking to be over in parts of East Tennessee, the eastern side of Kentucky. But if we can get this to move its way closer to us, that would be beneficial as well as helpful. But we're still not looking at anything that would be a widespread drought buster. Your seven day forecast highs today, 86 degrees, that 10% chance of showers. That's going to be areas to our east throughout early morning time frame and all of that moves out. Tomorrow morning, we're back in the mid 60s by the afternoon near 90 degrees. But as far as movement, we don't have a lot of wind out there. We're talking five to seven miles per hour. It is just looking to be quite stagnant, not only when it comes to our Thursday, but also Friday. But temperatures do start to increase 92 by the afternoon. Thankfully, Leland, we still get the best of both worlds. Temperatures nice and mild to start off the mornings. Uh, yeah, so as we go into the mornings for the weekend, mid 60s, upper 60s out there. But in the afternoon, we're at 92 on Saturday, 90 Sunday. Right now, just, uh, just that slight, <laughs> slight chance at a shower coming in by the end of the seven-day period. Yeah.